Welcome back on this Friday morning. We made it to the end of the week and it is going to be a really nice one today. We are starting off with mostly clear skies, though it is a little bit on the cool end. You know, most of us are in the 40s. It's 49 in Marquette right now. It's coolest along the Wisconsin state line, but it's going to be such a great day. Maybe fire up the grill, have some lunch out on the patio or the deck for dinner. Head outside as well. We're going to see temperatures in the 70s. It's going to be so great out there. A lot of sunshine in store for us. This morning, though, a little bit of patchy fog. That'll mix out, and then we'll just mainly see some sunshine. It's going to be a dry day, and we'll see that warm-up take hold for today and tomorrow because we'll have an upper-level minor ridge move through the area in the upper levels. What that means is it's going to bring in some westerly winds, which will bring in milder air for us. That's why we will see temperatures a little bit warmer than what we've had for the bulk of this week. At the surface, we have high pressure just to the southwest, and you can see the clockwise motion of the winds bringing in that southerly and southwesterly wind flow. This is why we're seeing clear skies and a little bit of patchy fog this morning. But we're looking ahead to this front. This cold front will move through tomorrow, and ahead of it will bring in just a few rain showers. In fact, the bulk of the rain showers will stay to our north as we head into your Saturday. Here it is for your hour by hour for today. Low to mid 70s in the interior western counties, 60s tonight, and a a few 70s in the south central and to the east near Lake Michigan. Otherwise, it'll be in the upper 60s tomorrow afternoon across the west end. We'll see temperatures drop off during the afternoon tomorrow as that front moves through. And then for, to, for Sunday, we'll see widespread mid-60s. So here's your hour by hour for today. Sunshine early on, but we will have high-level clouds slowly work in during the afternoon. And with some small smoke particles in the upper levels of the atmosphere, it could be a little bit hazy at times. A wind flow out of the southwest today, 5 to 10. And as that front moves in, we'll see a few of these isolated rays showers mainly to the north over Lake Superior, but we'll kind of skirt right along Lake Superior into the eastern areas tomorrow during the morning and early afternoon. Don't be surprised if you do hear a few rumbles of thunder, but this is not something that'll be widespread or really should affect any of your outdoor plans. As we head into Sunday, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds. We do need some moisture because the most recent drought monitor came out yesterday and it's updated. It's worse for parts of Western Gogibbet County now. Uh, you can see that little sliver of orange. That means severe drought conditions are in place. Otherwise, still at moderate drought conditions for a lot of areas near Lake Superior. We are at a rainfall deficit. And the good news is that it looks like we'll have some rain come in on Tuesday. For right now, it looks like it'll be a widespread disturbance with some widespread rain. We'll see how it unfolds, so stay tuned for updates.